let us talk about android today android is the step in the vision of creating a better mobile phone so this complete open mobile platform software stack released by google and android can be run on mobile devices from companies that have come together to form a open handset alliance this is very important those companies which are under open handset alliance android can run upon them so android is a mobile operating system it is essentially an operating system currently developed by google it has already been uh, developed by google based on linux kernel and designed primarily for touch screen mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets and whichever devices which have this touch screen so android's user interface is mainly based on direct manipulation using your touch gestures that loosely correspond to real world actions such as swiping tapping pinching to manipulate on screen objects along with your virtual keyboard for text input so today uh, as of uh, today's date android has the largest installed base for all operating systems so initially developed by android you know incorporated which google bought in 2005 android was unveiled in 2007 along with the founding of open handset alliance a consortium of hardware software and telecommunication companies devoted to advancing open standards for mobile devices so as of july 2013 the google play store has had over 1 million android applications or in short we know it as apps published and over 50 billion applications downloaded it's a huge number at google io 2014 the company revealed that there were over 1 billion active monthly android users up to 538 million in june 2030 again a huge number so uh, um, android initially came into existence as far as application is concerned with the sure fire idea that developers are given the power and freedom to create enthralling mobile applications while taking advantage of everything that the mobile handset has to offer so android is built on open linux kernel we are going to see this in a short while and this particular software for mobile application is made to be open source thereby giving the opportunity to the developers to introduce and incorporate any technological advancement so build on custom on uh, this uh, virtual machine android gives its user the addition usage and application power to initiate an interactive and efficient application and operational software for your phone uh, google's uh, mobile operating system the android is its awesome creation in the definition or uh, creative or uh, definitive definitive creation of software applications for the mobile phone arena it also facilitates the, the various aspects in your mobile initiating a whole new world of mobile technology experience by its customers there are various apps various functionalities which are available so let us have a glimpse of this android a developer is you know google uh, these are open Uh, handset alliance and this is written in c uh, the core is c and c++ java is user interface and operating system family is linux like working state still working and still going on there is various versions which are coming up this uh, source model is open source and in most devices with proprietary uh, components Initial release was on September twenty three two thousand eight, around seven years ago, and the latest release is six point zero Marshmallow. The names are very sweet as far as this uh, Android is concerned, and uh, the marketing target is of course smartphones, tablet, computer TVs, cars, wearable devices, available in various languages. Seventy languages uh, today. Uh, if you talk about today's date, and packet manager is Google Play. platforms are 3264 bit arm architectures and 32 bit 64 bit mips and mips 
kernel type is monolithic modified linux kernel the user land bionic libc all these you know because this is on unix platform so these all are present there and default user interface is graphical multi touch license is apache license 2.0 gnu that that is why it is um, you know open for everyone to work upon official website is www.android.com so what are the, the hardware on for which this was meant android the main hardware platform for android is aram architecture as we just discussed aram version 7 aram version 8a architectures with this 32 bit and mips architecture is also officially supported in later versions of android and since android 5.0 lollipop again a sweet name 64 bit variants of all platforms are supported in addition to the 32 bit variants since 2012 android devices with intel processors began to appear including phones and tablets so requirements for the minimum amount of ram for device running android 5.1 this ranges from 512 mb of ram for normal density screens to about 1.8 gb for high density screens so the recommendations for android 4.4 is to have at least 512 mb of ram while for low ram devices 340 mb is the required minimum amount that does not include memory dedicated to various hardware components such as the baseband processor so android 4.4 it requires a 32 bit arm version 7 mips or A 32-bit architecture processor, uh, together with an Open GL ES, Open GL is some, uh, for 3D, and compatible graphics processing unit. So Android supports Open GL ES 1.1, 2.0, 3.0, and 3.1. Android devices incorporate many optional hardware components, including uh, still or video cameras, GPS, or you say orientation sensors, dedicated gaming controls. you have accelerometer gyroscope parameters magnetometers proximity sensors pressure sensors thermometer and touch screens so in addition to running on smartphones and tablets several vendors run android natively on regular pc hardware with a keyboard and mouse so in addition to their availability on commercial available hardware similar pc hardware friendly versions of androids are freely available from the android this uh, 32 uh, project x86 we call it including customized android 4.4 uh, chinese companies are building a pc and mobile operating system based on android to compete directly with the microsoft windows and google android now let us uh, come to software stack so on top of the linux kernel there are the middleware libraries and apis written in c an application software running on application framework which includes java compatible libraries based on apache harmony this is a next version of uh, android uses open jdk instead so development of linux kernel continues independently of other android source code bases and until version 5.0 android uses dalvik as a process virtual machine with trace based just in time compilation to run dalvik uh, dex code this is dalvik executable which is usually translated from java bytecode so android 4.4 introduced android runtime art as a new runtime environment which use uh, ahead of time aot compilation to entirely compile the application bytecode into machine code upon the installation of an application in december 2015 google announced that the next version of android would switch to a Java implementation, which is based on Open JDK, so Android standard C library Bionic, as we call it, uh, was developed by Google specifically for Android as a derivation of BSD standard C library code. So the main benefits of using this Bionic instead of GNU C library, also known as JLibc or ULC libc, are its smaller runtime footprint and optimization for low frequency uh, CPUs. So, aiming for a, a different licensing model, toward the end of 2012, Google switched the Bluetooth stack in Android from the GPL license BlueZ to the Apache license BlueDroid. So, and 
Android does not have a native X Windows system by default, nor does it support the full set of standard GNU libraries. So this made it difficult to port ST existing Linux applications or libraries to Android. Until version this R5 of the Android native development kit got support for it, this applications written completely in C or C++. So this is the software stack. You have applications here, home, contact, phone, browser, etc. Then you have this application framework. You have activity manager, you know, Windows manager, content provider, view system, notification manager, package, telephony, resource manager, location manager, and X MPP service. Also, we have various libraries here, right from Surface Manager to LibC, or WebKit, SQLite, SGL, SSL, OpenGL, FreeType, Media Frameworks. Then you have this ART, Android Runtime, Core Libraries, and Dynamic Virtual Machine. Here we have Linux Kernel, Display Driver, Camera Driver, Bluetooth, Flash, Binder, USB, the Keypad, Wi-Fi, Audio, and Power Management. All those uh, in, under Linux Kernel. This is the architecture of our uh, this Android. This is Google Android Mobile S, uh, OS. You have Android Widget, and the, there are various events and update. And these are constantly, you know, receiving and sending from ZK Android Engine. This is the internet. This is again this request and response. And this is the server. This is ZK update uh, engine. We have event queue, event thread queue. And these are your application if you are developing or want to develop in uh, this Android. And this is the database MQ web service. This is ZK components. So all these, you know, uh, constitute the architecture of your Google Android mobile OS and its cooperation and interaction with the uh, on the Internet. So what are the advantages Android? can run multiple apps at the same time, biggest advantages. Then Android keeps information visible on your home screen. Android has, is a, a customizable home screen, which keeps active widgets right at your fingertips, always accessible and always visible without having to launch an application first. And Android has a better application market compared to other apps, other companies like Apple. And Android is hardware independent. This is very important. But there are certain disadvantages as well. Uh, you know, if connected to the network, Android can be said is in need of an active internet connection always. At least there should be a GPRS internet connection in your area so that the device is ready to go online to suit your needs and, or at least, you know, some options, some performance you know, which it gains from internet. Then sometimes there are ads because it is easy and free. Sometimes often a lot of advertising is seen. In appearance, it does not interfere with the performance of the application itself as it sometimes is in the top or bottom of the application. Wasteful battery. This is because the OS is doing a lot of process in the background causing uh, the ba battery quickly drains. But there are options to, to cope up with this draining. So I gave just a bit idea about uh, Androids and uh, all lollipops on marshmallows you might be using. Thank you so much. Take care.